Hey everybody, it's your girl, Smart Sister, and Lord, this week do we have a shitload of stuff to talk about. Oh my God. Okay, um, let me first start off with your boy, Kanye. This is the stupid, uh, okay, the shit is a cartoon. I think it's hysterical me personally but why in the hell do he even why it, he just promoting his album i don't give a damn what nobody say that's all that shit was you know he didn't learn from the kardashians how to stay on top of shit and how to keep your name out there or whatever and then this deborah messing or whatever this white ass neoliberal uh actress gonna try to uh front on him and talking about he just trying to split the vote for Trump, you know, because young black people going to uh, vote for him. First of all, Heffa, you don't know who going to vote for what. He ain't only got black fans, he got white fans. As a matter of fact, white folks buying his shit more than we do. We taping that shit off the radio, okay? Ain't nobody buying Kanye shit. Black people been through with Kanye for a, a while because he crazy as a uh, road lizard ever since his mama died. So, you know, for the, her to insult uh, black folks like that and then, and then she gonna try to uh, go in on my sorrow, Tina, Nina, let me say Tina, Nina Turner. And you know she can't even mess with that. Are you serious, little white girl? Nina came back on her so tough about three, four times because the heifer wouldn't shut up and stop tweeting, kept tweeting. You know, I am so sick of these liberal fucking racists that talk all this shit and they about as racist as they come. Okay, and, and, and Nina read her from Genesis to Revelation. You can believe that. Okay, sit your ass down, Miss Messing, and shut the fuck up. Because I am so tired of these. Uh, she another damn Karen. That's all she is. You know, they always want to tell us who we need to vote for, why we need to vote for, and blah, blah, blah. Fuck Biden. Don't He got to earn people vote like everybody else. And like I've been saying for months now that I'm not voting for him. And the fact that the matter is his uh, only reason he's still in the race is because people just don't want Trump. That's the only fucking thing he got. Because that stupid ass task force that he called himself setting up with, uh, with all the Bernie people. And they're going to come up with more progressive policies. Which they fuck didn't. I knew that was just going to be a waste of time and a circle fuck not even worth reading the hundred damn page document because what's the bottom line? He said he's still, even in the damn pandemic, even in the fact that black people dying from this shit more than anybody, he said no, I'm not for Medicare for all. Just straight up fucking no after all that. So fuck him as far as I'm concerned. Then with, with criminal justice shit, they asked about, they were trying to get that uh, immunity, qualified immunity, which means that's how cops always get off no matter what the fuck they do. That's something you could take away that could help get some convictions. Was he for that? No. He against that too. So like I said, if you and your good conscience can vote for this motherfucker that ain't going to do nothing, nothing, not a zip, zero, to help your broke, working class ass, black ass, then go right ahead. Because, uh, you know, you think, you think Trump is bad. You wait. Because see, ain't nothing worse than a closet damn racist. And that's what he is. And none of his policies are going to help you at all. At all. So, to me, what's the difference? And I don't give a shit about uh, embarrassing the country and, oh my God, the Russians. Are there. All that shit been going on and will continue to go on. Okay? So, I'm not worried about that. So, you know, are you kidding? 
this that whole task thing all that shit was a damn farce and i'm so glad uh nina turner wasn't even a part of it because like she said they didn't ask her because they already know she gonna tell the truth and ain't gonna sit up there and bullshit nobody and come up with some fake ass policies so there you go with that next thing i want to talk about <laughs> is the brother uh what deshaun jackson or whatever uh here come everybody talking about anti-semitic this that and the other because he uh made a reference or put something about mr farrakhan on there look let me tell you something see it's different uh for me when i say something i mean what i say and I say what I mean. And if he wants to pick uh, uh, out a quote or something from Minister Farrakhan that's 99% true, probably, I wouldn't give a rat's ass about nobody talking about uh, uh, anti-Semitism. We won't even go there because what the fuck is a Semite? That's what you need to go ask yourself. What is a Semite? And as racist is Netanyahu is and how he hate black folks. He hated your beloved Obama. He hated that motherfucker. Okay? And he don't like black people even though the original Jews are black. So all these damn Jews that want to talk all this anti-Semitism, then why don't you check yourself and go back to the shit you've done to black people and to black Jews who are the original Jews. Where the hell did Jews get their nose ass nappy hair from? Who are they? Why do they keep trying to act like they're a race of people? They're not. Okay? So why don't you go back to your roots and figure that shit out? And I'm tired of y'all that's going to uh, talk about, well, in, in the movement they helped us in the... Da, da, da. So... Anytime, anytime somebody is righteous and, and helps us, why is why do you feel you got to give them a cookie and then some extra? That's the shit you're supposed to do as a human being. Okay? So I'm, I'm done with all of that. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to have to do some shit in the future about Jews. And, and you're Jewish. Put the ish on there. Now, I know a lot of y'all use ish meaning you know the S word. But my thing is Jew-ish. You kind of. What are you? And where did you come from? That's the million dollar damn question. And out of all the shit the NFL has said, done, whatever against black folks, and then you worried about uh, a post that he made, I wouldn't have put no apology for shit. Fuck all that. You say what you mean, you mean what you say. And let any Jewish person, because all the fucking money they making off the NFL, you can go sit the hell down. Because I got to come up with some more stats. I already know it's only, what, three, four head coaches, if that. And then look at the front office. No, kiss my ass with that. Miss me with that. Because you you, you talking out of both sides of your neck. Y'all can dog us out and talk about us and do everything. And we're supposed to take it. But yet still, you one look thing. Oh, my God. He's anti-Semitic. Well, what the fuck is that? So, I will deal with that in a future video, too. But just to let y'all know, I'm with that brother. I could care less about what the fuck they saying. Okay? Because everybody got something. But, Lord, if we say something, it's all, you know, uh, well, y'all need to deal with it. No, we don't. And that day is fucking over, too. And then that'll bring me to your girl... Candace Owens that got called a nigga. I ain't never laughed so damn hard in my damn life. Some conservative or whatever, I don't know if he called her one directly or alluded to her being one or whatever. Bitch, now you gonna see. One thing I can't stand about boot licking bitch ass coon negro pen ass negroes is that the shit always comes back on you. You think you accept it. You think because you got a white man. You think because uh, you sp have, speak all the points, the speaking uh, points they have against black folks. You think by doing all that you're accepted. Uh, no. You a nigga to them. Like Malcolm X said many moons ago. What do white people call black PhDs? Niggas. 
okay so you that's what they truly think about your ass and like i said if you will uh give up your own people to be with them they have no respect for your dumb ass and like i said lord jesus would you please go see a sister and get that hair fixed because i'm so sick of your ass looking like tweety bird with that hair uh pulled back because you don't know what the fuck to do with it i don't know what to do you just like some of these little interracial kids running around. The damn white mama don't know how to comb their hair or what, how to take care of it. And I feel so sorry for them because it's be fucked up. <laughs> and they damn black ass daddy, I guess, I don't know why he won't take them to his mama or his sisters to fix their hair. But their hair all knotted up and fucked up. But anyway... Uh, that's another video too. However, Miss uh, Candace, ha ha, that's what your dumb ass get. I'm with, with, with uh, Dave Chappelle on her ass. Okay, and I can say stanky pussy hoe. Sure can. Which I don't have one. I'm not saying it to say that I have one. But anyways, being a woman so people won't get as offended. But anyway, that is it with her. Whew, like I said, there's so much stuff to talk about today. Um, let's see what else is in the news that I can talk about. Oh, well, I might as well get to the main story at hand, which is the NFAC. Not fucking around coalition. Woo! -hoo! I told y'all last week when I saw those brothers and sisters marching a thousand deep you know a lot of newscasts i saw oh well there are about a hundred there were a few around in the park 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 but all of them together was a thousand and see they'll never tell you that see that's how i know that these brothers and sisters are on point because the news just kind of skirted around it a little bit they didn't really say and they certainly wasn't going to talk about how many of them it was. Because see, that's just it. A positive black image like that, they cannot afford to have out here for all of us to see. I don't know about y'all, but when I saw it, I felt so good. I felt so safe. I felt wonderful when I saw that shit. And that's my point. Those are the type images we need to see rather than all these damn Karens going off and ain't nobody saying that. No, I'm glad to see more and more people are knocking the shit out of these Karens and, and, and getting them up out their face. We need to show that we can protect ourselves and not fucking around coalition is the shit and there are some more popping up we need a coalition like that in every major city they have so inspired me to go get my firearm okay and if we showed up like he said to a march where you ain't holding a sign you don't bring a sign to a gunfight and the reason why they came out is because the clan had talked all that shit about who they need to kill or whatever. And then they said, well, all right, we here. Where y'all at? See, that's what they need to see. Ain't nobody. They like, oh, snap. See, that's the shit you got to change. Like I said, you got to learn from your history or you're, you're doomed to repeat it. If these white folks see that we are not motherfucking playing with them at all, and folks is on it, they will leave you the fuck alone. You see, you ain't heard a peep. You ain't heard a fart loud. Okay? And that, we don't need the media either because that's how we know. You can always tell somebody ain't shit if the media is giving them a whole bunch of positive coverage and oh, and this militia is wonderful. And blah, blah. then you know they just sold out and they was just doing that shit for, uh, to be on TV. But when a motherfucker don't cover them or they don't have nothing good to say or don't have much to say and, and really don't even put it on there much, they legit. Cause see, anytime you start talking and being all over the uh, news and all, then you 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 setting yourself up. Malcolm talked about that a long time ago. Don't even try it. We just like the guys like, well, how many members do you have? How long have you been around? That ain't none of your damn business. And that's what too many of our organizations do. They get to getting on TV, talking shit, and telling everything. Hell, they already know. You better believe they already know. 
That's the thing. Y'all are crazy if you think these motherfuckers ain't watching you, listening to phone call, doing all this shit. Black people know that. White people are the ones, oh my God, I'm so appalled and I'm losing my rights. We being lost ours, okay? So trust me, they probably know quite a bit, but they don't know everything. And that's just it. Keep your damn mouth closed. And you cannot tell me. If we get a militia like that, just in the top 10 cities uh, of black folks in this country, and they go out and let us clean up this game, violent shit, which they could do. Because see, white people could do it tomorrow if they wanted to. I remember here, out here in LA, when they had the damn Olympics, every little need to grow with a do-rag on, or a red or a blue uh, handkerchief in their pocket, you best to believe they locked all them Negroes up, all of them, until the uh, uh, Olympic shit was over. See, they wasn't going to have no incident. They wasn't going to have nobody get robbed. They wasn't going to have nobody doing nothing. So, if white folks really wanted to clean up gang uh, violence, they got all these task force, ain't they got all the intelligence, they got all this shit, you mean to tell me they can't never stop nothing? You got me effed up. They know how to stop that shit tomorrow if they wanted to, but they don't want to, because they want these little Negroes to kill each other. And, once again, don't let that get you off focus of the fact that we're fighting white supremacy. What are everybody saying? Well, black lives can't matter unless, you know, we value our own life. You know, we got to stop killing each other. If we get to, do you know what small percentage that is of our communities? That's that, that you falling for the damn okie doke like everybody, like us. Wild Wild West corral all in every black neighborhood and every black person is 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 about to be killed by a gang banger. Are you fucking kidding me? You know that's not true, but you want to fall for that shit. You know everybody got gangs. White folks got gangs. Uh uh Asians got gangs. Mexicans got gangs. Don't nobody talk about no gang shit other than what we doing. And am I condoning it? No. I, it's time for some men to step the fuck up and get out there and protect their community and do what they got to do. But let's be real. A lot of them little boys do get caught and go to jail. And then a lot of them, how are, are you going, if I want to testify against one of them and I ain't got no protection, because uh, the law ain't going to give you no protection, why would I come forward and say anything when I got to live in my same house and, and go to my same job and these little motherfuckers may set you up or come for you if you go, come up against them because you don't have no uh, protection if you decide to testify. Come on now. Let's look at some real shit. I'm tired of all this pie in the sky shit. I will stop killing you. Motherfucker, what are you doing to stop it? The very ones sitting up here talking this shit and what black people need to do is the very ones ain't did a motherfucking thing for the black community a day in their damn life. And so what you gonna do? You gonna go out there and do it? Okay? You need a, a militia like them. You can't tell a thousand of them descend on the Chicago streets. Trust and believe they could clean that shit up. And we need to talk to them because out here in L.A., a lot of Crips and Bloods, they coming together. They finally waking the fuck up and seeing that their enemy is not each other. It's white folks. You know, like I've said before, where y'all at? You will kill each other over a goddamn uh, tennis shoe. But the white man killing you every day and you don't say shit. So if we can wake them little boys up. And girls, because it's gang girls too. You ain't wake them all up and so they can see the big picture, which America don't want them to see. But if they see the big picture and turn them damn guns on somebody else other than themselves, oh, we good. We real good. And they know that that's why they don't want it to happen. All this time, all this gang, so-called violence and shit could have been stopped a long time ago, even from the government that we have. But they don't want it to stop. 
And like I said, it's a small portion, uh, percentage of where people live and what people are doing. How many of y'all know gang bangers? How many of y'all got drove up on and, and drive-bys and all that shit? It's a small percentage in a certain part of town. Let's call, call that. And like I said, if the city wanted to do something, they could have been done it. So that sister, whoever the damn mayor is of Chicago, uh, pull your head out your ass and do what you got to do. Because you know you can get it done. They just don't give a damn. Okay, so all the brothers and sisters, ex-military in Chicago need to get together and start you a not fucking around coalition. And I love the name, not fucking around. And that's what we got to do. Quit fucking around doing nothing. All of us can go out and get us a firearm. All of us can get some training. All and cause you can't be more scared of the damn gun than you are whoever you're trying to shoot. You gotta if you get a firearm, you need to go to the range and need to need to learn how to use it and you know how to clean it and how to not be scared of the damn gun more than the person you would use it on. And as I said before, my father told me, if you pull it, you better kill a motherfucker. You don't pull guns to, to scare people. Okay, so you need to find out what the gun laws are in your area. See if you have an open carry like they did in Georgia. Or get whatever permit or whatever you need to get to do what the fuck you got to do. Or just have it. That's just the bottom line. So if the so-called race wars come, which all these white folks keep talking about all this time... And like another friend of mine, we was talking the other day, and he said it, and I thought about that shit. I was like, you know, that's true. Um, all these white folks that's been running around in the woods and shit, and practicing, and this, that, and the other. What? Well, very few of them probably are ex-military, and very few of them have actually seen dead bodies, have actually dealt with dead people most black people have if you didn't see it in your neighborhood or you wasn't around it you probably have a, a, a relative that was killed and you'd have been to a bunch of damn funerals I bet you that and like he said um are they really ready for the shit because they ain't got it in them really when they train, giving their little guns to their little kids and all this shit, they ain't ready for seeing some motherfucker's head blown off. They ain't ready to see no real death like that. And some of them, though I'm thinking a lot of them are wicked and evil as hell, uh, you getting some shit blasted back on you is a whole nother story than you sitting up here running around in these damn woods playing like you in a war. Okay, and like I said, most black folks, we didn't dealt with death a lot. So we got that even in our fucking DNA. When I look at intergenerational trauma that I've talked about before, some of that shit is in our DNA. Because we had to what, deal with it way back when, all the way to now. Okay, so you really, really don't want none of this. You really don't. And if you're ready, bring that ass. That's all I'm saying. And that's why I love NFAC. Lord have mercy, honey. Some of y'all brothers, you know, you can give me a call, whatever you want. No, but <laughs> y'all got my vote and we need some more. Because that's all uh, this, this system is going to stand. Y'all been praying and, and, and marching and, and cooning and everything. And we still in the same fucking boat we always been in. Okay? So, which is no respect at all. So, uh, white folks understand death. They understand that real well. And if it comes back on them, look how they acted around 9-11. Oh, my God. Uh, and we want uh, 3,000 motherfuckers as opposed to how many thousands, millions has this country killed in other countries. Fuck that. Okay? So get it together, black people. Get it together. Get your gun. Get trained. Learn how to use your shit. And y'all brothers need to step up to the plate and come protect the 
community the way you should or you a bitch like I talked about uh, uh, last week a couple weeks ago you know do what it takes to be a man and protect your damn community and anybody that ain't please go get you a white woman and get the fuck out the way okay cuz we don't have time for this bullshit so that is it I guess for today for Friday I done gave all y'all my updates. I love y'all. Come to the website, smartsister.com. Look at some past videos. And as I said before, if you don't uh, want to watch the videos, you can actually uh, listen to the podcast of this show. And, and then that way you can maybe binge a bunch of them, listen to them in your car, do what you got to do, listen to what I'm saying. Because basically, people, I'm trying to get us all on an, one accord with each other and, and, and understand how a lot of us feel that have never had a voice to speak for us. And that's what I want this show to be, that voice that you're not going to hear nowhere else. Because I'm here to say it. I don't give a damn. I ain't scared. Come on. Do what you got to do. And go ahead and listen and, and try to take part some kind of way. If you want to uh, keep following the blackout, do that. We need to keep um, supporting our own black businesses. You can do that easily. That's the bloodless revolution. And that's the one that's going to really get us where we got to go. Where we can start spending money with our own businesses business people can build their businesses and make the money so they can be more independent and be a voice and then give opportunities and it's just a it's an ongoing thing and then we all will be better off not to mention us organizing on the level that we need to in order to get where we got to go and if all y'all still want to keep uh, being a part of the political system you do that when you have freaking money to buy the politicians you need that's how that works truly believing in this shit and being loyal ain't about nothing because they don't give a shit about you you got to make sure you got the money to buy what you need and give us what we want. And I'm all for a nation in a nation. Start. We can start one. Because when you think about it, like I said, look what we do. Everything that this country got is because of us. And then they still depend on us to give them the juice and the culture and the shit they need. When you want to go out to eat, do you want to go to... Mm, German food, British food, Scandinavian food, hell no. Y'all already know, people looking for some soul food, some Mexican food, some Chinese food. White folks are boring as fuck. And y'all know it, and we know it. But we wanna, oh well, we got, no. That's just the way it is. Know your worth and do what you gotta do. So I will see y'all soon, and thanks for coming through. I love y'all, and always remember, know thyself.